perfume that I bought. Excuse me. What? I know I just came with it, but. Oh no, I'm rushing. Man, oh man. <laughs> Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and it is a Friday. It is finally the weekend and I'm so excited because low-key, I need these two days of doing absolutely nothing and just doing what I wanna do, honestly. Um, I got off work earlier, like around three o'clock, but I ended up staying just honestly running my mouth until about 4.30ish and it is now 19.50 and I'm just getting back to the gym. So please excuse how glossy my face look i still gotta hop in the shower i literally just walked through the door i still have on my workout clothes i ended up wearing this um green these green leggings with this green top um in my my on clouds i don't know where they at right now anyway y'all i don't know what this vlog is about to be about honestly it's probably going to be one of those random vlogs i'll be doing sometimes oh this lighting is horrible right here but i can fix that <laughs> hold on so this might be just one of those random vlogs that I end up doing from time to time. Just decided to pick up my camera and start recording something. So that's pretty much what I am doing now. Anyway, y'all, I need to get in the shower. But before I get in the shower, do anybody else's husband, boyfriend, boo thing, whatever the case may be, do anybody else person buy them random stuff that they want to see you in and just send it to you? Because I got home and I had this package um, two packages. I'm just opening them opening them now. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm stuttering. But I'm just opening them now. And in one is this cute dress that I can see through. That is so... Like, it, it. it's looking like it's about to be bomb. And this is a small. I think this is a small. So I have this one... Yeah, this is a small. He sent this one and he sent a black one. <laughs> and I'm wondering what's this about? What are we doing? What's 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 happening? Is this this yeah, it's the same. So he sent the white one, he sent this black one. And y'all, I am about to definitely get in a shower and clean my body and try these on because I'm so excited. And then there's another box here and I don't know what it is. <gasps> it's not, it's my perfume that I bought. Y'all, so I bought myself, y'all remember when I was talking to y'all about my Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods? My Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. So I got this and then I ended up getting this one for free. And I bought this as a congratulations to myself um, because I got high cut on the TMC. For those of you that don't know, if you're new here, I'm a respiratory therapist and I'm an LPN. I am more so pursuing my RT career though. Um, I did just get accepted into nursing school. It's confusing here. It's confusing here. There's a method to my madness, but just, just that's the basis. That's, that's the it's the foundation. Um, that's a little backstory. But um, I took the TMC, which is the test you need to take to get your respiratory therapy license. I took that for the first time back in May when I graduated school. And I did not pass. I didn't pass. And then I honestly was not going to retake the test. But I got here to Fort Liberty. And my chain of command and the people that I work with, they were just so... I don't know. They were so motivating. And they kept asking me, like, are you going to take it? Like, are you going to take it? You need to just schedule. Like, and not only that, they were helping me study. So I ended up retaking it again in December, December 14th. And I got, I passed. I became a CRT, Certified Respiratory Therapist. But I really, really wanted high cut because I want to try to sit for the Clean Sims so I can get my registered respiratory therapy license and y'all I finally passed with high cut yesterday and I am so excited so what I did is I decided to purchase my perfume now here's the thing I could have been purchased this but I'm low-key on a no buy right now y'all I'm sorry I'm keeping this in my face I'm on a no buy right now because I have financial goals as well like yes I love collecting perfume 
finally found my tripod. It was sitting on the bed. Okay, that's better. Y'all, look at me. Look at me from the back. First of all, I have come a long way. Trey sent me some videos of myself, of like my backside, um, not too long ago when I, around the time I first met him. And I've grown. Look at me. Look at, look at, look at it. Look at it. Anyway, um, I am on a no buy because I have financial goals. And if you, if you collect fragrances, like I collect fragrances, then you know it's expensive. It's expensive. And so I decided that this year I'm not going to be really buying fragrances. The only thing, the only reason I will be buying a fragrance is if it is heavily discounted. And I mean, heavily discounted or if I actually did something to deserve to buy a fragrance for myself, which I did because I got a high cut on the TMC. And that really is a big deal. Um, because in order to move on to the next level, uh, you have to get high cut. So this is my Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. This is my absolute favorite, favorite perfume. And it's almost all gone. It's, yeah, it's almost all gone. Which is the reason I've barely been wearing it because I've been trying to like save this little amount for when I really, like, I've been holding on to it. I've been holding on to it. Um, I think it was, it, it's $88. So if you want to buy the 50 milliliter, um, this size, it is, this is the only size, honestly. And it's $88. And when I discovered, oh my back. When I discovered this here, which one is this? This is the Brazilian Crush Chir Brazilian Crush Teresa. It's the Black Amber Plum Vanilla Woods Prune Your Ombre in Boys Vanillas. This one here. This smells so similar to the vanilla woods seven, the seven virtues vanilla woods and i absolutely love it let me actually grab this there's more that i want to try from this brand but this one is just my favorite um so i just wanted to put this one back to my collection but the seven virtues vanilla woods it has a top note of pear which i do i smell that top note of pear the heart note is rose, and I feel like I do smell that, but the vanilla and caramel, that's what I love. I feel like that's what I love so much. Let me see. Okay, I definitely smell the pear. That's what I've been smelling this whole time. It's something about it. I just, mm, it just reminds me of good moments. It reminds me of good times. Oh, I absolutely love it. What are you? You found a box? Y'all, Sam found a box. You got a box? You got a box? Leave it to Sam to play in a box. You're so silly. Um, hold on, y'all. I'm really trying to get my life together. I need to get some food. I need to get a shower and I need to get some food. Anywho, let me go ahead and oh hold on. Let me stand. Let me stand back up for a second because excuse me excuse me what <gasps> y'all this is crazy if i insert a video so y'all can see what i look like before and what the gym has done for me <sighs> y'all but, 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 uh, hi my bubble uh, hey hmm. baby first of all i'm vlogging <laughs> gotta say hi what up what up what's going on <laughs> what okay first of all i have dresses in the mail why do i have dresses in the mail what's that what, what's that for where you get dresses from oh no you <laughs> tell me i'm at the shower so i can try them on yusuke y'all look at yusuke yusuke come here I have to show you my gift I bought for myself for passing my test. And I am so surprised it's already here. <laughs> I just rebought this. This is my empty one. Oh. Yeah. I'm like, what? 
Damn, this is <laughs> this is my empty one, but I bought a new one, and I'm so excited because you know this is my all time favorite perfume, and I was holding on, huh? Same glass? Yeah, I was holding on for dear life. You see, I was on my last leg. Uh -uh. Uh, and then I got this one for free, the little ball roll roller ball. I can oh, throw. Wait, yeah. I'm about to look at it. <gasps> See, but the thing is, you have vanilla in this. So this one, because this one, I let it sit. And so it turns gold, it turns brown because of the vanilla. But I know when it turns that color, it's so much better. It smells. Different, yeah. mm, 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 mm. It's so good. It, all, the, all the perfume and cologne do have a different scent. Yeah. It's not too crazy, but it does change a little bit. Oh, yeah. Like the one that, that one that I bought, I rebought you. And it was like mm -hmm. way darker. It's different, yeah. Yeah. Mm, I'm so excited. Look. I shouldn't like this perfume as much as I like this perfume. But it reminds me of just peace and tranquility and just quiet and you know how i like like i don't always like you know dreary or cloudy days but this reminds me of a cloudy day like just walking around running errands not a lot of people are outside it's just me and it's like a little cold outside so i get to wear like my sweater and my sweats and it's just such a relaxing day that's what this reminds me of. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I'm so excited to have this. There's other ones in this brand that I want to try, but I always want this one in my collection. Mm. What are you doing? That, that collection over there. Jesus what? My, co <laughs> my collection. Listen, don't don't come for my collection. Oh, yeah. I'm on a no-buy. Until... Yeah, a no-buy means I can't buy any fragrances unless they are heavily discounted, like heavily discounted, or if I actually do something to deserve it, which that's why I bought this. How many bottles you got over there? Are you counting? Oh, let me send you something. <laughs> Ew, um, I added all of my perfumes up, like all the money that I spent on perfumes, and I was just like, Ugh. oh. hell no. I don't even look at that. I didn't even realize I did all this I didn't mm -hmm. I didn't mean to let's put it that way it wasn't intentional it's a mess all with the break it's like oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was like two years in the making but like this one I'm so sorry. You know what? I just be barely touching her and she be acting like I just beat her back in or something. Anyway. <laughs> so this one. Mm -hmm. So I have the little bitty one in a car, right? It's like, it's it literally looks just like this, but it's just smaller. And I paid $30 for it. Y'all look at this. I paid, so the smaller one, I paid $30 for the small one. Guess how much this costs? $170. So it's supposed to be around a hundred and oh jeez. I think it's like a hundred and twenty. Mark Jacobs, my dream. 137. So it retails. That's how much it was at the PX. 137. Guess how much I bought it for? 30 bucks. 30 bucks, yes. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Tell me that's I was at when I went to where did I get this from? I got this from Burlington. And I was just looking through everything. Like, I don't know. I just took the time to just see what they had. And I saw that it was on the bottom row all the way. It was only two. And it was shoved, like, in the back of everything. And when I picked it up, I said, no, they don't. I was expecting it to be, like, $70. It said $30. And I said, I'm getting that. No, the employee waiting to come back and get it later. You know what? I said the same thing. I said they probably was hiding this, wanting to come back to get it later. Hey, my bottle babies. Good morning. Let me tell y'all how I left every light on last night, every single light, and how I destroyed this kitchen and didn't clean it up. And I wonder why I'm always so stressed out and just all cluttered. Anyway, Fat Boy is outside, so I'm about to feed him and Sam real quick. I'm literally just getting up. By the way, it's like, I 
Bye bye. I can't see him. He's gotten so used to us. Okay, first of all, I need to get these hands up. I gave him some dry food and some wet food last night. Fat boy. Fat boy. And then there's one that makes a lot of noise. What are you doing? Where are you? Oh, that little yell. Okay, hold on one second. I see the one over there. That's the one that makes a lot of noise. I haven't seen that one in like two months. <laughs> I be thinking they be going missing or dying or something and then they just pop back up randomly. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. Okay. Where are you been? I haven't seen you for anywhere. And for y'all that be asking me why I feed the stray cats. Because I can and because I want to. And honestly, I don't necessarily feel like I need to, but I feel like, I just feel like it's the right thing to do. And I'm kind of sad because I know when Trey gets here, he's going to make me stop feeding this. <laughs> he's going to make me stop feeding the cats. But I just hate the fact that one, I love cats. I love cats so much. Y'all know that. I used to be the cat lady. I had four of them. And I hate the fact that cats are like, the main animals that are abandoned. Like, why do y'all abandon cats so crazy? Like, and then, because I also, I don't, I'm also in the habit of if I can catch a stray cat, I'll catch it, get it fixed, and just put it back outside. Because there was a point in time when I lived um, in Georgia that none of the stray cats were fixed. And we had so many kids, like, during this, the, the, the breeding season, if you will, like, especially in the summer. We had so many little kittens running around to the point, I mean so many to the point you just, if you're riding down a street, it wasn't unusual to see about four, five, six, ten, so many dead kittens, like little bitty baby kittens in the road because they got hit by cars because they, none of the cats are fixed. They're obviously in the heat. They're around reproducing and then nobody's left to take care of the kittens either the mom dies or she gets caught and she's in the shelter and blah 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 and all the kittens had like eye infections so it wasn't even that they they didn't they just didn't stand a chance they had eye infections they couldn't see their eyes were like crusted shut wandering into the street and don't know no better boom you get hit by a car and we were seeing so many and it was so sad and so one of our neighbors, she would always catch and get him fixed and stuff like that. And I would always wonder why in the world does she have so many cats? And I was kind of like irritated and I don't know, until I realized why, until I realized why. And like these cats, it's this one. <laughs> oh, look at Sam. Sam, you ready for your food? She's gotten used to them, but it's not all cats. So it's these cats, like this one, the orange one, I call him Fat Boy. That one over there, I call it Voices. I don't even, I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're girls or boys, to be completely honest. I haven't, I'm just now able to get him to like walk up and meow and like rub and like nudge his little head on me and stuff like that. So he made a lot of progress. That cat back there, I name it Voices because every some every single time I'm looking for it and I go out there and I go, What's he doing? It'll meow back and it'll me. I'll know when it's getting closer because the meows get closer. And then there's one more cat that is a white color. And I named that cat Silence because it can't. I was wondering why I was always so quiet. And it finally started meowing for the first time a few days ago. And it doesn't have a meow. It literally sounds like this, y'all. <laughs> That's what the meow sounds like. <laughs> So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I genuinely enjoy this. I genuinely wish I had enough money that I can just get one of those, like buy some land and like make one of those cat safe havens and like hire people to like work it and stuff like that. But that's only in the perfect world. But let me go ahead and feed Sam. Don't start. Let me go ahead and feed Sam and um, clean and get me some breakfast so I can start editing some videos. Cause this is the weekend since I don't have to study. This is the first weekend since December I don't have to study. I need to get caught up in some content. So let me go ahead and start getting busy doing that. Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't know whether or not I'm starting 
a new vlog or if this is going to be a continuation of a vlog that I already started because I'm pretty sure I have some footage like last week <laughs> that I didn't use yet so we'll see we'll see if this is where I'm starting off obviously it was a new vlog if it's somewhere in the middle or in I, look y'all know what I'm trying to say anyway please excuse my appearance I just finished getting out of the shower, um, washed my face, y'all, I'm sorry, but I'm low-key admiring my body back here, but I'm gonna show y'all that later, hold on. Y'all, I'm so excited, I wish I had my tripod, where's my tripod, hold on, that's so much better, y'all, I'm so excited because, listen, I am actually packing, I'm getting ready to, um, I have a flight in the morning, Low key, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm about to get to the airport because I don't want to drive my car and store it at the airport because I'm going to be flying out to Houston. Trey's going to pick me up from there. And then we are going to drive back here to North Carolina because Trey ended up getting hard cut orders to come here and be stationed here. And so, yay! We are finally getting stationed together and I'm so excited y'all do not understand the, the the relief the weight that's lifted off my shoulders I just feel so grateful I just feel so blessed like <laughs> I'm just so excited because since we've been married we have not lived under the same roof like <laughs> we're already in two different duty stations basically by the time well when we got married and so it honestly shouldn't have taken this long for us to get back together but I mean better late than never I'm just happy it's finally happening a lot of the things that has been really stressing me out lately it's finally everything is finally falling into place <laughs> Everything is finally falling into place. And I'm just so grateful. I'm just so excited. And so I'm just trying to get ready. I just want to be a little cute. Um, I took a four day pass. That way I can, today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Gonna be with him Friday. We're gonna hop on a road Saturday and it should take us about two days to drive in. We're gonna stop out at his sister's place and I'm kind of excited about that. I haven't seen them in quite some time. So we can go ahead and sit out there so we're not like driving super far, like super long. And then last stop here. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. My baby finally coming home. <laughs> I am so excited. Um I just want to, I don't know, <clears throat> geez, I don't know. I feel like um, me and Trey, we've been separated. Let's see. He got stationed. His report date was early July and we got married at the end of July. So I was still in Texas. He was already in Louisiana. So you can technically say, so let's say August, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, and his report date is April, technically. Look at all those months that we've been like not together. So the first nine months of our marriage, we have not lived together. It's so crazy because obviously we start off as roommates. So we spent our first year in a relationship living together, got stationed in different places. After getting married, well, before getting married, and um yeah we haven't been married under the same roof yet and so i'm just so excited for this to be happening and this is just a little pick me up for the other people that i have out there in long distance relationships because i know for a fact you have people out there that's been in long distance mid distance relationships longer than me and he has so it it, it comes it, you'll be together eventually you'll be together eventually hang in there because i'm gonna tell you right now i do not understand like i do not recommend this but when it's the right person and they make it worth it and they make it easy you'll be fine the time is coming your time is coming even uh, i cannot imagine those people that are in like long distance relationships for like years years and <laughs> oh my god anyway um i was out Actually, yesterday and today, I was out doing a little bit of shopping, and I want to show y'all what I got, but um, let me think about life for a second. 
So where's my ring? Okay, it's in there. Let me show y'all these bracelets that I ended up getting from TJ Maxx first because they are so cute. And then we can get into, I guess my clothes. Look at these bracelets that I got from TJ Maxx. There was other ones. Oh, it's dangling. Okay, there we go. So there was other ones. Hold on, is that top one gonna flip? Okay, there we go. So this one, and this only has three clovers on it. And I just think it's so cute. It's so dainty. It looks so cute on. Obviously, it's meant to be a Van Cleef dupe. And then here's another one. So here's the thing, y'all. I've decided if this is the size and the way the actual Van Cleef bracelets look, I'm considering getting one. It won't be one of the super expensive ones, but I'm considering like at some point, cause like I said, I'm not really buying anything unless it's a gift to myself as a congratulations or like I accomplished something or whatever the case may be. But if this is how dainty they are and they're like just this small and cute, I gotta put that on my, um, oh geez. I gotta put that on my presence, my self presence list. Now for the clothes and stuff that I bought, I'm about to do a quick try on haul because I got to try all this stuff on anyway. I'm technically supposed to be packing for tomorrow. I don't have anything packed right now. Hold on, y'all. I am going to put all my stuff. So I have this bag. I feel like I got this from Burlington a while back. Do I want to carry this? This ain't that comfortable to carry, honestly. But, especially when everything is in there. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and carry this. But let me go ahead and show y'all these outfits that I bought. I wish I had my tripod. Where's my tripod? Hmm, where is that tripod? Okay, that's besides the point. Okay, so this is the khaki dress. Oh, I got this in a size extra small and it fits so well y'all this dress fits so good I love that and I'm looking for some um just some nice little slip-on sandals to wear with it because look at the it's a short little mini dress honestly like it's not too small it's not doing too much but I want some type of slip-in shoes to wear with it maybe a little matching bag but I love this so much it's so flattering Gosh, look how it just cuts me right here. Like, I know I got a small waist, but look at that. Just, mm. Um, let me see. And then I also got the same one in a different color. <laughs> it's low key a chore <sighs> putting on these dresses, but I'm telling you, them things. Them things just look so nice on. And like I said, these are $18. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, that's so good. I tried it on in a store with my bra on, but I'm liking it without the bra so much better. Oh, that's so nice. And again, I got mine in an extra small. So yeah, this is, mm, this is beautiful. What am I gonna wear this with actually? See this one, I need some brown slip on sandals so I can wear it with my brown purse that I have up in there. Listen. I can already see it. I, I see the look. I see. I see the vision. I have a vision. This is cute. Okay, this is the next outfit, and I have this cropped. Um, this. Let me show y'all. So this is actually about this long, which I would wear it either way. If it was given church, maybe like just put it down a little bit. But the way I wore it in a store. Hold on. Let me get off camera because I don't got it on the raw. I tried it on in a store like this. So, which was this top? This top is $25.99 and this satin dress is $37.99. And so this thing, one thing about it is I love me a nice satin dress. I love me a satin dress. I'm trying to, go ahead and turn this up. Cause it looks so dark. Okay, there we go. We're gonna turn it up for a little bit. So this is what it's looking like. And it's long, y'all. Let me see if I can show y'all. Okay, I'll put that right there for a second. And it's long. Come down to here. Oh, those are so pretty. And honestly, I'm wanting 
like off the shoulders like this. I already know like what perfume. Actually, let me see. With this look, I feel like, <laughs> hold on y'all, I'm trying to centray videos of these outfits at the same time, but I'm thinking for this, this is a black opium type of type of thing, maybe a twilly type of thing. Whatever is gonna be definitely an intense type of type of vibe for me anyway. Cause this is this is like deep, sexy, mysterious type bold, right? And that's just me. That's that's the vibe is giving me right now. So next I wanna show y'all a few things that I got from Marshall's. Go ahead and turn it back down. Hold on, y'all. I want to show y'all a few things I got from Marshalls, starting with this dress. Now, listen, I went to Marshalls. Okay, let me let me back up. One thing that I'm starting to learn is I gained some weight, right? So I'm about 125 now. 125 ish 124, 125. Okay, I'm bouncing around there. And one thing I noticed is my waist, my hip, my well, not my waist, but my my hip area, my butt is getting so much bigger, y'all. It's it's poking. Listen, the gains in the gym have not been letting me down. When I say seeing my body now versus what it looks like, and don't get me wrong, I always have pretty a, a pretty decent shape. But seeing my goals finally happen, because I always wanted to be a little bit more toned. I wanted my butt to sit up a little bit more, protrude a little bit more, and I'm seeing that. I'm seeing the work that I'm putting in a gym and y'all now when I miss a day or so in a gym I'd be so disappointed like you're gay anyway what I'm running into now my waist is small my waist is really small so I always try to buy my clothes in an extra small my jeans were always either a zero one two or three y'all I went to um TJ Maxx I went to Ross and I was finding cute jeans in like a size three. That's the size I wear. Why these jeans were too small? What? They were too small. Like I couldn't even get them up over my butt. There was quite a few pair I couldn't even get up over my butt. And I was low key like, should I be happy about this? I don't know if I should be happy about this. Um, but then the other thing I'm running into is when I buy certain stuff, it fits nicely around like my butt area, but my top and my waist. Mm, I still got some work to do. Y'all, when I get these titties done though, when I get these, that's all I'm gonna say. But this is the first dress I got from Marshalls. I went to Marshalls because Aaliyah Face told me to go to Marshalls. And I did see some of the stuff that she tried on in her Marshalls try on haul. Yeah, it was not flattering on me at all. Cause her body's T. Is my body T? Am I delusional? Am I delulu? Anyway, <laughs> this is the first dress that I got. And I just thought this was really cute. This is something like, I actually like how loose this one is because it's like more casual. This is like something I would wear like to a park or something like that. So this was so perfect because I've been looking for more things like this that I can just throw on and just go and just do stuff. So yeah, I was really liking this vibe so much so i might actually pack this because it's like i said it's nice loose it's comfortable i can actually be in this on a car ride because this drive is about to be 14 hours y'all so so this is another outfit that i got from marshall's and how cute is that so okay first of all i feel like this is obviously, can, is this my skin that I'm seeing through the bottoms? But it really don't matter because, I mean, you can't really see anything. I mean, I guess you can see the tag right here. But other than that, I think this outfit is just so cute. It's so cute. It's so casual. Look at the bottom. All oh, the legs. This is how long the legs are. That is so nice. It's just such a casual look. I like that so much. And honestly, everything that I got from Marshalls, I bought it for the purpose of taking on this trip so I can just have little cozy, casual things to wear, but I still wanna look, you know, still wanna look a little cute. So obviously I put the dress in the bag and obviously this is going in the bag. This is cute. And I just have this tucked in, but even if you take it out, it's just look, 
so nice and casual. I love this. They did have a darker like khaki color, but they didn't have an extra small because this is an extra small. I like that a lot. So here's another outfit, but I won't lie. This is given, this is given vacation, okay? This is given vacation because look at, look at the bottom. This is cute. Oh gosh. And that bait is also good. Look at that. That is so nice. Why did I pack this? Why did I buy this? Like, <laughs> I act like I'm going on vacation or something. But this is cute. This is so nice. It's so flattering. Um, but I don't think I want to pack this. I think this is just too because me and Trey were supposed to be going to Florida soon anyway. So I'm thinking I might save this for the Florida trip. Because this is yeah i like this i like this better for like florida so but okay so what else am i packing okay i know i know i just came with it but do i want to wear this like this or... question am i the only one that will pack a bathing suit even though nobody's discussed even the possibility of there being water related activities, but you still gotta be ready just in case. I don't know, the hotel might have a pool. We might stop at a beach. I'm just used to the road trips that I take. There's usually some type of stop at a lake, a beach, some type of body of water available. So I gotta be ready, especially when me and Trey go to Houston. I gotta be ready. Listen, if y'all ever go to Houston with me, y'all better have a bathing suit. If you don't have a bathing suit, <sighs> anyway. I feel like I got this. Uh, where did I get this from? I feel like this came from Shein maybe. It was either Fashion Nova or Shein. Cause me and Trey bought a bunch of matching swimsuits. But y'all, this is cute. And I haven't gotten a chance to wear this yet. Hey y'all, what's up? Good morning. It is about to be nine o'clock, I think. Let me check. Yeah, it's 8.30. And I finally just got ready to leave for the airport. Let me show y'all what I'm wearing. So I decided to wear this outfit. This top with the matching bottoms. How cute is that? And then I have my jean jacket out because y'all already know. I do not play about my jean jacket. Is that her? My friend is coming to pick me up and drop me off at the airport so I don't have to take the car or take a freaking Uber. So, yeah, um, I got my suitcase. Y'all, I'm hoping I have enough packed in my suitcase to even be comfortable while I'm on this trip. Like I said, I don't need much because I'm literally going, grabbing the, the, the truck or whatever and driving back. But obviously, you know, you stop in between and do little cute things and probably go out to dinner, like things like that. So I still want to be like kind of comfortable. Yeah, so, but I feel like I have enough packs. Let me show y'all. So I was trying to still clean a little bit, but that obviously didn't work out. I've got to come back, wash the duvet cover, insert all that stuff. But here is my suitcase and I have like my toiletries and stuff in there. And then I have my purse here that I'm about to go ahead and zip everything up. Everything's good. So yeah. And I almost forgot my AirPods. Can't forget those. Sam, let's go. And you know what? I got my bag over here. I bought her some baby stuff. So let me go ahead and throw this. Hold on. I'm going to throw this baby stuff in this cute bag I found real quick. Sam, let's go. They're so cute. Okay. So 
there's that. I got my phone. I got my ID and stuff in there. I got my, ooh. I got my car keys. Oh no, I'm rushing. Where's my car keys? Come on, come on, come on. Where are the keys? Say okay, let's go. Get your you hear me talking to you. Get up. All right, y'all. Hi, Settle Bays. Welcome back to another moving vlog. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Uh, it's the next day. I made it to Trey. Oh, God damn thing. She took her solo last night. Being here. What do you mean? There's supposed to be time. You booked the flight, crazy. Crack the luck, y'all. What it do, what it do, what it do. I said, hey, what do you want? Like, oh, <laughs> wasn't this not the earliest one? It wasn't. Right. Oh, cheapest. Oh, yeah, I said the cheapest one. Anywho, this was his, was his humble little bow. And I didn't see it. This is my humble little bow. So echoey in here. This is where you say you used to sit. Mm, mm, mm. What are these apartments called? Uh, the Timberland? The, tim the Timberland? Timber Ridge. Timber Ridge. Okay, so for those of you that was asking about like apartments and stuff for Fort Johnson, because I had some people asking if there was any good apartments, give them some um, a review on these apartments. I mean, it's cool, it's cheap. It's the uh, hotel. Well, they got some like regular uh, model floor plans. It's pretty nice. Two beds, two baths. I mean, it's going to have bath and It's pretty nice. These are upstairs and downstairs. It's not too bad. And it's nice. I mean, it's nice kitchen. The next big open space room with a patio outside. The storage room. Yeah. And that's like my favorite one. You did what? Oh, the storage? Yeah. yeah. And how far is it from post? Oh, like five minutes. <laughs> Literally like five minutes from post. If you, it's it's super super close. So you have the door here. You walk in. Right here you have a half bath. Right off the door, and then you have the kitchen. The kitchen's kind of small, but honestly, it's enough space. Huh? Yeah. For a small family, a geo bachelor, but then you have this little area that's kind of open to the living room, which I liked. It's when he was playing a game where I like to in the living room, I can talk to him. And over here, you have washer dryers, and these come in the units. Got all this storage space up here, storage space over here, and obviously, this doubles as a pantry. I like this. Like, I want an actual laundry room that's this big, not sharing a pantry. So there's that. You obviously, have all the cabinet space. And honestly, I mean, a few more wouldn't hurt, but this is enough. <laughs> Down there, I have a dishwasher. I'm about to tear one of these donuts when I'm done. Yeah, a newer dishwasher. And then let's. Oh wait. So over here, you have the under stair storage, which is nice. You have this backyard area, and some people fence their areas in like this. So if you have any dogs, pets, and stuff like that. And I'm not sure, what's this out here? Is that just a utility thing? Is this just a utility closet? Uh, I have to store it. Yeah. Is it? Does it? Oh, wow. What was that? Oh, you have storage out here too. I didn't know that. That's nice. So for all that military gear, y'all can just set that out here and lock it up. <laughs> mm, mm, 
mm, I'm gonna come help on time. Done with my tour. Mm -hmm. So then we're gonna go upstairs. And right off the stairs, you have the first bedroom here. And it's a pretty decent size. You have the closets here. Again, for like the second bedroom, maybe a kid's bedroom. But even if it wasn't, I feel like this is a nice size room. Size reference. And then coming, so getting the stairs, come around here. And then you have this little vanity area here. So it's just sink, some storage. This is where I would keep all my stuff. You have a closet back here. And then as far as the shower and toilets is over here. Basic shower, basic toilet, nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing too special, but you can definitely make it that. Turn this back off, close that. So then we're gonna come around because this all attaches to, whew, hold on, you turn this down. So we don't get copyrighted over here but you have again another medicine cabinet mirror sink some storage down here and this closes to the um, bathroom there and then please ignore our mess we are moving but then you have the the main bedroom which is here and again, this is a pretty decent size. We had a king bed. Yeah, a king bed in here. Some nightstands, dressers, and stuff like that. It, it was It's more than enough space for what you need. So this is the main bedroom. Uh, yeah. Oh, and then as far as the outside, there's no drive. Um, what is it? There's no garage. But they have like the little... Can you see that? Like they have the little pull-in things there's the truck right there so perfectly fine good to you all and then as far as the closet space you have this closet here and then you also have this closet over here oh jeez so not enough space they are pet friendly they are really really close to Post, and I honestly feel like the neighborhood is, they, they do a really good job with keeping it clean. I don't think he's ever had any problems with management as of yet. I just, so if you're still wondering about apartments close to post, but yeah, I gotta go and help this man wipe down these walls and stuff so we can hit the road. You forgot this light up here. Can I reach it? <laughs> nope, almost. There's breakfast. Ducks, listen. I had a friend who's that was that bias who said Ducks Donuts is better. It's no Shipley's is better than Ducks Donuts. She's still gonna have to see me about that because, excuse me. <laughs> Not 
cleaning out the fridge, putting like stuff in bags so we can go ahead and throw that stuff in the U-Haul. Um, yeah, that's about it. So just waiting for him to get back so we can put everything in the truck and in a U-Haul so we can hit the road because I'm low-key ready to just hit the road. I'm thinking because from here to his sister's house, it's about 10 hours. So I'm thinking we might try to at least make it there so we're not like wasting money on hotel rooms and stuff like that. But we gonna see, we gonna, we gonna see. Ugh, this drive is about to suck so bad. I'm just ready to just start so we can get it over with. Trey's back. It's almost time to leave. I'm taking this in a car. He don't question me. Talking about you need creamer in a car? You will never know when you get like a bad latte. A yeah. coffee. I don't know what donut I just ate, but it was so good. We're on the road. Trey busting into you all. You skiing in the back seat? Stressed out because Trey and you all. And honestly, I'm gonna just follow him. I'm riding the big body. I'm in the truck. <laughs> He's so good. He's the goodest boy. He's the goodest boy. All right, y'all. We're on the way home. You scared? You ready to go home? Are you so ready to go home? Huh? Lay down. Lay down. Good job. Cops that are all set. Bitches in my old phone. But she called on it all home. I've been in this. First stop, I'm over here watching Army Barbie's vlog. But yeah, we're trying to get some gas. This is the second place we went to. Maybe. You over here looking, they eat locks, they closed, they ain't got no gas. Place. You scared. Lay down. I guess we go somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, I figured when you walk around the corner. I mean, I don't understand. Wait, we don't sit This is the second place. Oh, yeah, I don't have like this one, but. Yeah, I don't got no gas. Uh, it ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> um, one, three, two. Yeah. I don't got no gauge on there, so I don't know Where what you number at? I got. It don't have the it don't have the thing? Well it have that. I'm like, like right towards above. the E, but Okay. Well I'm not on E, but I'm towards the E. Yeah. I don't know how much it is to be in the So what the fuck? Like the sign says open. Let's go to Man, the next one we drive by, I guess. Uh, so angry. Drive me nuts. Angry face. Come on, because we still got nine hours. Yes. Nine hours and thirty. Nine minutes hours and we're gonna go. lose an hour so we don't get there until like eleven. That sucks. Because yeah, we lose an hour going back that way. That sucks. A little scrubby dude dude. No thank you, no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, What's he doing? You have to being crazy. Yeah, we just stopped at what is this? I think this is our, ooh, is this big enough for me to sit this up here? Dang, this truck is huge. Anyway, this is our second stop. Oh, hold on, y'all, my lips are dry. Anywho, this is our second stop. We're getting gas. Again, Trey's filling up. He just filled up the truck. And we still got seven hours and 12 minutes to go. Fuck no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> no, you deserve cold hands. So cold. You deserve cold hands for that. Um, <laughs> shut up. This is this is coconut craze. Oh, coconut. Yeah. 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 You just, can you hear that? Foolishness, ain't it? <laughs> All right. Let's hop back on the road. Okay. Mm -hmm. Start that bad boy up. Uh, oh my goodness. I guess I'm about to hit the road, Jay. Don't come back no more, no more, no more, no more. You scared? Lay down. <laughs> he tried to be the goodest boy. He, he tried. 
Anywho, I'm just chilling, y'all, honestly. I'm not too tired yet. Just, you know, watching my videos. I just went and got a extra sweet tea. I got Trey a sweet tea. And um, I got me a banana. I got me two bananas. Ooh, that's loud. I got me two bananas and I got a energy drink just in case I need it later on down the road. But yeah, back on the road we go. Like I said, I got we I got we got seven more hours to go and that's not even getting like to our home that is us getting to Georgia where his sister lives so yeah look at this like I love whatever this is right now it's like a lagoon looking thing take my scarf off i'm getting ready to go into this little va breathe y'all first of all i almost said welcome to another vlog but y'all it's still the same vlog it's still the same vlog i just haven't picked this camera up in oh a few days um yeah it's just been busy i'm pretty sure y'all kind of y'all would assume that but we got back here last sunday and today is friday so it's almost been a whole week since trey has been here and i'm so excited y'all i'm so excited but we do have like obviously all of his household goods and stuff like that that we're sorting through he's for the most part he's doing a lot of it by himself because obviously i'm still at work and stuff like that um and then when i get home oh and then when i get home i was like studying and stuff like that so yeah it's been it's been a little crazy what i'm doing right now is i am sitting in front of the soldier support center because i have one of my sfl type appointments y'all know i'm getting out of the army soon so this is just one of those mandatory things that you have to do but i'm hoping this appointment is actually going to be my lips are dry i hope this appointment is actually going to be like educational beneficial you know helpful because a lot of these briefs that i've been going to uh I already know this information like they're not telling me anything new with all the research and stuff i do with the anxiety i have about getting out most of this stuff that i've been learning i already know so i'm going to these briefings thinking okay i'm gonna learn something new i'm gonna you know something something is gonna be in there where it's gonna help me no not yet so there's that which is kind of irritating because that education brief that i went to not helpful at all i had my last va appointment though um at the beginning of this month i finally got my narsum back which is basically the paper well the document that lists out what conditions make you unfit for duty and the conditions like out of all the all the conditions that you claim on your va claim this narsum is basically saying okay these conditions make you unfit for the army and these conditions meets retention requirement and you know you can stay in with these so 
since that's all done i signed that now i'm just waiting for my ratings to come back but i wanted to pick the vlog back up y'all because today when i get off because i'm gonna be here this brief is from 08 to 16 30 and after i go home me and trey's gonna be hitting the road to go florida oh shit Y'all, I need a, to get a new one of these because this thing is so weak and it's keep coming up apart and it's pissing me off because then like my stuff will randomly drop on the floor. But yeah, we're supposed to be um, heading out to Florida in somebody's baby shower. Um, so I'm excited about that. I pack in everything for that because I just, I'm not going to have time for anything. I kind of, kind of didn't want to go. I won't lie. Cause it's just so much going on. Like we just, it's just a lot going on. But I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll go here. All right. Okay. All right. So I got my. I want to take this. I'm taking my orange juice in there. All right, y'all. <clears throat> I'm about to go ahead and go in here so I'm not terribly late, and I'm gonna talk to y'all um, when I get in. Say hi. Say hi to Trey, y'all. What up? What up? You can see me? Uh, oh, because you, <laughs> you, you gotta let the sun hit you. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, I'm see you. Bye, bye, bye. Mm. All right, y'all. It's later. I finished up with, what was it? It was that VA brief that I had not too long ago. Oh, what you doing? What are you doing? Let me get my stuff. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I finished up with the VA brief. Um a little early like 30 minutes early which was perfect y'all i'm so sick and tired of going to these briefs like i get it like we have to do these things i gotta get my life together i feel like every single time i come on i'm saying let me get my life together but um i'm trying to be in the sun so y'all can see me but i went to this brief and it was from where's my lip gloss it was from eight o'clock in the morning until, well, it was supposed to be until 16.30 in the afternoon, but it went until 15.30. So we, yeah, an hour early, we finished an hour early. But I kid you not, all these briefs that I'm going to is not new information. Like they're not sharing anything that we don't know. And that's the part that irritates me. Like, why do I have to sit here? The only thing I wanted to know about was the VR and E stuff. Cause I'm trying to get my school paid for. And they literally sped past the part that I was there for. So what was the point? Other than that, we are off to Florida. What are we going? Florida. Uh, to my cousin's house. Going to my cousin's house in Orlando first, and then the rest of the way down to Miami, and I'll be it. It's about to be a little trippy trip. You said Orlando, then Miami. Orlando, Florida. I'm about to be in Miami. Oh. I've never been to Miami, but it's not like I'm going to like do anything this time around. We're supposed to be going out to Miami at the end of the next month. Yeah, middle of next month. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you need to give me the actual date so I can go ahead and throw some leave on the calendar. Oh, yeah, took time for that, right? The same day that you put go to Oh, okay. Yeah, that's perfect then. I mean, I know you believe in that for leave for that already, but. <clears throat> no, I mentioned it to him, but just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the throw it on the calendar. Anyway, but yeah, so we about to go ahead and hit the road. I'm about to eat this. Well, his sandwich he didn't eat. Oh yeah. Well, I remember today, obviously. But... Which one is this? This is the. Oh, this is the breakfast one. Turn right. Oh, that's about to be good. That's about to be good. Me 
to try to doubt this feeling Yeah, we could just walk away Yeah, we could just stay away The things I love about you I can't change No, 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 no It's been a two days and crazy two days. Crazy. Just like that, one day in Miami, mm -hmm. heading back home. And we're gonna go ahead and shut this vlog down here. I feel like this was the most random vlog though. Oh, definitely random. Like, it was like your moving vlog and other things in the vlog. Oh damn. Yeah. All of it. So I'ma see y'all in the next one. Bye. Alright, peace out. So bad.